journalist. I was just thinking what else they could call themselves. You know, potentially the Sussex Foundation, but it's not going to be a foundation. They can't do H&M, because that's already been taken, yeah, hasn't it? that's very good. But I'm sure they'll have people. Their people will be working on it. I tell you what, if, if you need advice yeah. on how to brand yourself, get attention mm. and turn yourself into a global phenomenon, you could do worse than uh, follow Speedo Mick, uh, the man who uh, decided to set off on a charity walk from John O'Groats to Land's End a few weeks ago in just a pair of swimming trunks. We're going to speak to him in just a moment. He's making a very big impression. There he is, in a very small pair of swimming trunks. He's the one on the left. Yeah, that's right. John Maguire's the one on the right. He's been keeping in company. Hello, Good. John. Morning, guys. Absolutely amazing scenes here in West Cornwall. We're just, I can just see Mounts Bay. There's a Mounts Bay behind us here. Yeah, so you're almost there, Mick. Yeah, we're all. We're How's it going there. this morning? Well, it's absolutely unbelievable. It's I mean, I'm running on adrenaline here. I'm, you know what I mean? I'm just so excited that we're coming to the end. Plus, we've got every every man in the world and his woman yeah. and his uh, <laughs> and, and his dogs dog. And the kids. Yeah, yeah, are out on the streets. So, uh, beeping and saying hello and so giving this is, donations. So this is what's been happening here, look. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. as we've been going along, people have been pulling over yeah, and they've got a smartphone in one hand and they've got cash in the other hand. What's your name? What is it? Best. Best Best oh like my absolutely God. lovely. Thank and this has been good. happening everywhere we've been going. I, I can't quite imagine that Mick's going to make it to Land's End tonight because he is literally getting mobbed as he goes along. Fantastic scenes, walking along the, uh, the A30, as I say, just outside Penzance now. So he's got a bit of walking to do, isn't he? He's got a still a few hours to go, but there you go. Look at this, cash going in. We just saw a woman, Margaret, uh, a local woman. She is 60 tomorrow, and so she wanted to give Mick 60 quid for her 60th birthday. No, it's all right. We're, we're it's keep okay. going. It's you okay. We're going to keep going. Have a selfie, whatever you want to do. What's that? Um, this is a microphone. Yeah, you're, you're, <laughs> I know you're familiar with them. Um, just remind us for people who haven't been following your extraordinary journey. Obviously, John yeah. Groves to Land's End, thousand miles, more than seventy odd days in the winter. Why the winter? Well, we're, we're, we're trying to ramp up the challenge. That, you know what I mean? And uh, you know, doing it in the winter, obviously, in the pair of knickers, is, uh, <laughs> is, is very challenging indeed. But yeah. that's what we've managed to do. And uh, there's been many times I've had me doubts whether I'm yeah. going to uh, finish the walk. But we're here. On the last day, we can see Penzance yeah, there, you, you know. Michael's Mount in the distance. Yeah, Michael, Michael's Mount. So Michael's Mount, yeah, so just, Mike, just off there in the distance. Michael's Mount. Um, and your motivation, <laughs> what's kept you going when you've been in the snow? Two storms, Kira and Dennis. What, what, what's, what's been keeping you going, well, putting one foot in front of the other? Obviously, um, the thought of, of fundraising the money to put, put it back into the community, the kids' and mental health and uh, well-being. And, uh, oh, and what's kept me going is all this, all the beeves, all the well done's, all the lovely messages, you know, and... Um, yeah, man, basically all that. And my, my just... Uh, Hello, there's kids. more money here. Two, two, Thank you very much. Thank you so much, lovely. <laughs> Everybody gets a kiss. Everybody gets Denise, a cuddle. Hello, Thanks, Denise. 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 Well done. See you later. Yeah, Let's yeah, yeah. Let's keep going, so, otherwise yeah, we'll never make it. Two, yeah, just <laughs> the determina determination, persistence, perseverance, all the stuff that I never had on, um, long a long time ago before I got my life back, basically. Right. And I've, ga I've gained them skills by getting taught them by other people so I'm just following in their footsteps and why to do some good in the world you know what I mean good for you and why the budgie smugglers oh well why not <laughs> you know what I mean it's it's, it's really <laughs> well because of this, this bud, the budgie smugglers we've got the budgie smugglers on because I swam the English channel and uh, you have to wear a pair of budgie smugglers I didn't know that when, oh, I, right. when, I, when I booked the boat and um, yeah so I, I, I said I'm not swimming I'm not I'm not gonna do it because uh, I wasn't going to put a pair of budgie smugglers on. But look at me now. I'm running around the world, you know what I mean? Raising money for charity and uh, I'm having a good laugh doing it. Uh, just remind us, I mean, we haven't done a tally of today's uh, contributions. They've been extraordinary. But just remind us how much money you've raised so far. It's uh, £268,000. Oh. I've got a funny feeling. It's uh, it's more than that now. Right. But, uh, yeah, 268 last time I looked. So, we're, 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 yeah, man, it's just unbelievable, unbelievable <laughs> for a man in his pants. <laughs> Brilliant. Mick, what an amazing job. We're going to let you go. Thank you. We won't slow you down anymore. We'll see you at the end, and we're going to see you on the sofa on Tuesday, I think. <laughs>
for a hard-earned massage, maybe. There we go. Everton fans are turning up as well. Look at these guys. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> Oh, you've never seen anything like it, have you? On you go, Mick. See you later. Onwards and upwards. All the best. Uh, he's still got a fair way to go. Something like, I don't know, maybe another four hours or so. Keeps getting pulled over by people like me, but more importantly by members of the public who are really inspired by what Mick is doing. Uh, well, what a guy. Back to you. Thank you so much. So brilliant. Just so much joy. I it's know. just a fabulous thing. He's brilliant. Would that happen in any other country in oh, the world? I don't think so. I don't think it so. It wouldn't be as cold and inhospitable, would <laughs> yeah, That's it? true. Siberia, that's who knows? True. Let's see what Mick is going to have for the next uh, few hours as he gets close to land. Oh, that, hopefully not like that, Matt. <laughs> I bet he's glad he's not in Aberdeenshire this morning. Very good morning to you. This is the scene in Braemar. It's been snowing quite heavily. Not sure I'd want to be in one of the camper vans at the moment.